Hey everybody, this lesson is a joint and separate angle. So this is a le uh, lesson 11.4 in our textbook. We're going to be using this protractor down here to measure and, and compare some angles. So our essential question is how can we determine the measure of an angle separated into parts? All right, so we're going to use our protractor down there to do that. So we're going to need some paper, scissors, protractor. Now I'm not going to use scissors in this lesson because I, I really can't. You can't see me cutting things. So uh, but uh, on our paper, we're going to go ahead and draw an angle that measures exactly 70 degrees and label it angle ABC. Okay, so I already have it on the next slide, but but what you would do is pick up your pencil and you'd, you'd put a point, you know, say right here, and then you'd pick up your straight edge, which is, you know, the edge of your protractor has this nice straight edge on it right here. So this straight edge, you'd line it up and use it for um, a straight edge, but I don't do that on this. I What I do is I just... I pick up this straight edge right here. This lets me draw a nice straight edge, and and then I'll just go ahead and and make an angle, and we'll do a, a, an angle ABC here. So there's angle ABC, and we'll put another point out there, and uh, that's going to be where zero starts right there. Okay, and then put another point, and we'll label it. So uh, come on, there, right. There. That's not going to let me with that protractor there, but I'll take care of that in just a second. Okay, so we're going to um, uh, line this protractor up, and remember this little this little crosshair right here. See that where uh, this piece comes down right here, and this piece comes over. This is where that point's going to have to line up right there. So I'm going to have to don't put it on the edge right there. That won't work. You got to because it's not on zero over here. This, this zero has to go down on that line right there. So I'm going to go ahead and go down to there. Okay, and then uh, it says to make an angle that measures exactly 70 degrees. So what I'm going to have to do is we're using the bottom numbers here because the zero starts on the bottom. So there's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and we're going to go to 70, okay? And above 70 is 110. So what I'm going to do is just put a little mark right up there. Okay, so there would be about 70, and then I'll pick up my straight edge. I'll go ahead and put that point back over here. Okay, and then let me move the protractor out of the way so it lets me do this. So I'll take that back down there. And then, uh, so there we've created a 70 degree angle right there. Okay, and I've already have it on the next slide over here. And I've labeled it uh, angle A, B, C. So I called this point A, this point B, and this point C right there. So there it is right there. Okay, so now if I had some scissors, I'd go ahead and cut uh, this angle out right here, angle A, B, C. But I can't do that here. So if you have it on a piece of paper and you can cut it out, then uh, that's what it's asking us to do. So, uh, so there's my angle right there. We got it all cut out right there. Now we're going to separate the angle by cutting it into two parts. Begin by cutting at this vertex. Remember, this is the vertex right here where the angle edges, the sides of the angles, they're called rays. Remember, this is called ray BC and this is called ray BA. And at B is called the vertex of the angle. So we're going to cut uh, this angle into two separate angles, and we have to do a straight cut. You can't do any, you know, curvature cuts. It has to be a nice straight cut. So, so if you can cut it right there, okay, and make two angles right there. Now I can't cut it here. So, uh, so what figure did we form? Well, what figure did we form when we did this ray right here? Okay. Well, we we cut it into two smaller angles right here. So it formed two more angles. So they're two smaller angles. I should have put that in there. All right. Now we're going to use the protractor to measure the two angles that we formed and record the measurements. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and, and slide this protractor up here. Now to measure, uh, this one's easy to do. So if I just put that right there on the B and make sure that the zero lines up on this ray right here on ray BC. Okay. So the crosshair has to be, it's not quite on there. I'm going to move it over just a little bit. Okay, so that crosshair is right on there. It has to be perfect, you guys. So I don't know if this is going to let me get it perfect. Okay, right about there. All right, can you see? Here's 0 degrees. Here's 10 degrees. To Looks like about 20 degrees right there. Okay, and what I'm going to do now is measure this angle right here. Let's see if it's going to let me twist it sideways. So I'm going to I'm going to move this 0 so it goes up to here now. So I've got to start the 0 on this ray. So this one looks like it's 20 degrees, this angle right here, the bottom one right here. And let's see if it's going to let me do that. So if I put that 0 right up there, okay, so there it is right there. It's on 0, and the crosshair is right on that angle. So now this is where 0 starts. And then it goes up to, looks like about 50 degrees right there, okay? 
So let me move this back out of the way. I wonder if it's going to let me get it back to uh, zero here. Maybe. Almost. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, there we go. All right, so uh, let's record those measurements. So we get 20 and 50 degrees. So this one's 20 and this one's 50 right there, okay? So uh, find the sum of the, uh, the angles that we formed, okay? So we're going to go ahead and put 20 here, put 50 right here. A 20 plus 50, well, 2 plus 5 is 7, so 20 plus 50 is going to be 70. So 20 degrees plus 50 degrees equals 70 degrees. Remember, this means degrees right here, okay? So look, you guys, this, uh, this part of the angle plus this part of the angle ended up being what the whole angle measurement was. Remember, the whole angle, angle was 70 degrees right there. So um, when you uh, added the two parts together, it adds up to the whole part. So join the two angles and compare angle ABC to the sum of the measures of its parts and explain how they compare. Okay, well, the measure of the whole angle, the measure of angle ABC, which is 70 degrees, it equals uh, the sum of the measures of its parts. So this whole angle was this, the same as this smaller angle plus this smaller angle. Now when I teach this in my high school geometry class, I say uh, this piece of the this piece plus this piece equals the whole piece right here. Okay, and it's actually called the angle addition postulate in a high school geometry class. This small angle plus this other small angle equals the whole angle together. Piece plus piece equals the whole piece right there. Okay. All right, so that's what that's asking there. So we can think of angle ABC as the whole and the two uh, angles that we formed as the parts of the whole. So part of the angle plus this part of the angle equals the whole angle right there. That's what this is trying to do. So what if we cut uh, angle ABC into two different angles? What can we conclude about the sum of the measures of these two angles? All right. Well, let's take a look at this. If I, um, the sum of the measures of these two angles is always going to be 70 no matter what. So the size of angle ABC would not change, only the size of the part. So what it's asking is, what if I cut it into, I'm going to go back, I'm going to do a red one here, so, or pink one here anyways. Let's go back and do this ray right here. Well, if I could stop right here, this angle, whatever it is, plus this bigger angle right here is going to equal the whole angle, angle uh, which is 70 degrees, or I can I can do this ray right here. Then that means this angle right here plus this angle right here equals the entire angle 70 degrees. So it doesn't matter where we cut this angle up, we just know that these two parts are always going to add up to 70 degrees, the entire angle. Okay, so here, Jade cut angle ABC into three parts. So draw the model that shows the two different ways he could have had separated his angles. Okay, well, into three different parts. Well, he could have done this. They just have to add up to 70 right here. So he could have done 20 and then done another 20 and then done a 30. And then these, after you measure them, they should add up to the, the total angle, which is 70. Look, 10 plus 10 is 20. 20 plus 50 is 70. So these three angles also added up to 70 right there also. Does that make sense, you guys? So write a sentence that compares the measures of the angles to the sum of its parts. Okay. Well, the measure of an angle is equal to the sum of the measures of the parts, okay? And what that just means is, is all the small little pieces are always going to add up to the total angle. So we can divide this up into four equal pieces, and they'll still add up to 70 degrees right there, okay? So remember, the piece plus piece equals the whole piece. Okay, guys, I hope that makes sense. Take care.